Hi there, welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Well, just a moment. Let me show you a little something. A little something from, well, I didn't put it all the way down. There are more in there. A little something from Russia. Okay, so, well, not in this one. This one came out of there. There are more little ones, and this is actually the Snow Maiden. Okay, it's a Russian fairy tale uh, about the Snow Maiden, and then I'm sure you are, you've seen ones like that, like these, where you open them up and there's a smaller one and a smaller one. And it is just so neat. Okay. But it's really hard. This one is really hard. I, it was really hard to get this one. That's why I don't have it all the way down because it's really hard to open up. But I just want to give you an, a little idea of a little something from Russia. And as I said, it goes with the um, Snow Maiden fairy tale. Okay. So if you're interested, you can always Google on the snow maiden, the fairy tale. Remember, from Russia. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's get started. So we are in the midst of step two of the writing process. Remember there are four writing steps. Meaning your pre-writing, your drafting, your editing and revising, and then of course the favorite one of everyone, publishing. So you're on step two, step two, step two. Please keep that in mind. You are not on step four. You are not publishing, not yet. You are still drafting. You are still working on the copy, on the rough draft. So you've got plenty of time to make corrections, to add material, take materials out, to make sure your sentences make sense, that you're using transitions, you're checking the spelling and the punctuation. Okay, so yes, you are doing the copy, not the final. We are not publishing yet. So far, we've done three paragraphs of the Chinua Chebe essay on, what's the title of his story? Yes, a very nice title, huh? Marriage is a private affair. It is so rare to find literary titles that are subject, verb, and then the rest. Marriage is a private affair. A complete sentence. How unique. Oh, yes. So as I said, paragraph one, you've got your three questions. Check again. Yes, no. Get rid of those questions. Your paragraphs two and three are two of the body paragraphs. Two of the three body paragraphs. So please make sure. Check. Are you starting with transitions? I hope so. Don't forget. Comma. To begin with, comma. Are you answering the question in that first sentence? You are good. And then finally comes the proof, the evidence. Quite often it's in form of what? Yes, examples, which could come in form of statistics, numbers, percentages, right? Lots of details, lots of facts, and the like. Now keep in mind, Five sentences may not be the key here. The key is, did you make the point? Are you supporting, backing up that sentence, that first sentence, with enough material so that, yes, you've made the point? So if you said you enjoy eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, do you have enough material, enough evidence to prove that you enjoy eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? You may need to write five sentences, not just four. Please remember that you're trying to make the point. You don't want to turn in an essay where I look at it and go, oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. And I read it and I say, wait a minute, you're not done with the paragraph. Oh, but I have five sentences. No, you didn't make the point. Where's the rest of the paragraph? No, oh, you don't want that. Okay. So make sure you have something out that you can write on some paper and a pen or pencil. Just in case, here's the assignment. One moment. Here is our assignment. Remember, we are working on the, yes, the draft. We are in the drafting stage of the writing process. Yes. So, Achebe, yes, you are to write paragraphs four and five today. So you're going to do the third body paragraph. Start with the transition. Answer the third question. Come up with plenty of of evidence, of proof. Your paragraph five is your conclusion. Please note, 
follow the PA formula for writing conclusions. The conclusion starts with in conclusion, comma, not finally, comma, in summary or in summation, comma. No, 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 in conclusion, comma. And your final thought, no repeating. I don't want to read it where I go, oh my gosh, you, should, you said the same thing five lines above. That's repetition. Stay away from that. And then don't forget your quote. Be creative. Make sure your quote has something to do with your essay. As my mother always says, watch those upon the punctuation marks, you know, the quotations, the comma and the period. Okay. Keep that in mind. And don't forget to wrap up with, I agree, exclamation point. Make sure you've got all that. Please follow that. It's only three sentences, but you've got to do it according to the PA formula. Everyone understand? Yes. Good job. So for today, paragraphs four and five. And here's your daily question. If you could go back and do something differently, what would it be? If you could go back and do something differently, what would it be? Think of something in your life, nothing too personal, something in your life where you're going, oh, I could have been nicer to my sister on that day. If I could go back to that day, I would say this instead or give her the pencil that she so much wanted. Okay, does that make sense, this question? Okay. Everyone understand the assignment? Once more. Paragraphs four and five and today's question. Okay, now if you do happen to have a question about it, please don't forget, contact me. I will be happy to help you. And one last glance at our snow maiden. Yep, I can hear the little ones that are in there. Yeah, there's about, I believe, three more. Two, three, yeah, three, yeah, smaller size. Again, a nice little fairy tale from Russia. Remember, we're a little too close. Oh, nice. Okay, remember to send everything today. I hope you have a great day. Till next time, bye-bye.